Question 11. A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. It's an important word, regular. It's telling you that all the sides are the same length. BCF and EDF are straight lines. And last, to work out the angle CFD. You have to mark that in your mind. CFD is what we're asked to work out here. And we need to show how we got our answer. Right, so let's return to this piece of information. We're told that it's a regular pentagon. That means all the sides are the same, and therefore all the angles are the same. So I would really like to know uh, the size of each of these angles. So what I can do is I want to calculate, well, what's the total number of degrees in the, the whole shape? So I'm going to do rounding. This is um, splitting the shape into triangles. So I'm going to start from that point and then break into little triangles. So I know this pentagon has one, two, three complete triangles in it, meaning it's got three lots of 180 degrees, which is going to work out to 540 degrees in the shape in total. Now, now that I know that there's 540 degrees in the whole shape, I want to work out what each angle is worth. So I'm going to take these angles. 540 degrees in the whole shape, 5 angles, meaning to get one angle, I need to divide 540 by 5. So 540 divided by 5 shall be equal to 108 degrees. So each of these angles is 180 degrees, so I need to use an eraser. I'm just going to mark it in now. I know that this is 108 degrees. This is also 180, so therefore I need to divide every angle in this pentagon with 108. Okay, let's get this angle here. So if I want this angle, which I'm going to mark in blue, what I'm going to do is, well, this is a straight line, and angles in a straight line add to 180, so 180 subtract 108 leaves me with 72 degrees. So this angle here is worth 72. This guy here must also be worth 72. Finally, I want to get the red angle here. Hopefully you know that all angles in a triangle add to 180. So I'm going to do 180 and take away those two lots of 72. So here is I'm going to take away 140. Four. And 180 subtract 144. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count up. So adding on 6 will give me 150, and then 30 will give me 20. So it's got to be 36 degrees.